welcome back to my channel today as you can see I'm approaching this February weather in a very different direction I'm wearing summer colors yes I don't care I am manifesting nice weather even today is minus two it's okay it's okay it's all right because we are here to talk about something very requested I've been receiving so many messages for a really long time so it's a little past two but I wanted to have the experience so I could share with you as well how I feel about it you know not just like the specifications so we're gonna talk about this guys we're going to talk about Cartier and Tiffany bracelets yes so this is what's happening today yes as well actually one more beauty which is this one it's not there I mean it will be a little too much no I think it will be I mean, where to put it you know what I mean I personally believe three bracelets is enough I think four is like a little too much does it look bad what do you think I don't know it could it could work but I don't know guys anyway so today we will be comparing Tiffany and Cartier let's get started let's talk about these beautiful pieces so we can you know have it out there from me as well because I know there is I know there is a lot about Cartier right like if you google Cartier bracelets there's so many videos so many so many like a lot unboxings like million of them <laughs> then you have like you know people telling you how they got it yes so well just to add myself to the line of the videos I guess <laughs> I'm going to share that all my bracelets were gifts I got them all from my husband of course um, this one I got in 2020 or 21 I think 2020 something around there guys for Christmas and these two I got last year um, the Anklo was for Christmas and the love bracelet was for my birthday so yes first thing I want to share with you as well this I got at the same time with the Tiffany T, T1 bracelet so let me like polish them first because I was just putting hand cream on and they are like a little full of fingerprints so so one thing guys um, as you can see I if I wear them all together at night I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on a video here probably not because of the light I have on so the first thing which I noticed when I got my Cartier bracelets uh, was <laughs> quite shocking for me because I had no idea that it will be such a difference so all my jewelry is in yellow gold not all this ring is in rose gold they don't make it in yellow gold but all my bracelets are in um, yellow gold 18 karat yellow gold so for me it was very shocking to notice <laughs> when I actually got a love bracelet I wore it next to I wore it next to these two for you know the whole fall season till I got this one and we were just walking around you know daytime the light is on daylight you know and I'm looking at the love bracelet and I am so confused I was just like did we just purchase <laughs> rose gold love bracelet I was so confused because guys Tiffany and Cartier yellow gold is whole different story they don't match in tone a bit Cartier's yellow gold is more on a rosy tone compared to Tiffany because Tiffany has like this very cool almost greenish undertone when you look at them together on a daylight super confusing even my husband saw it and he can see anything Tiffany I guess doesn't add as much of copper to their jewelry as Cartier does so guys just to let you know a little information about gold so people always say oh is that solid gold 18 karat gold is not solid gold no solid gold is 24 karat gold but guys you cannot make jewelry from that 
because it's too soft <laughs> yes it's very soft so if you wanted to make jewelry pieces like rings or bracelets and possibly put like stones in it color stones or diamonds it won't hold the stones safely in it will possibly bend if you like hit something it will probably misshape itself like it will just not work that's why 18 karat gold is to go <laughs> for jewelry that's why all these luxury jewelry brands are using 18 karat gold unless they're using platinum which is not yellow right <laughs> so just so you guys know like there is not high jewelry brand using 24 karat gold because it will not make sense there will be so many repairs at all time metals have to be gold gold no metals metals too but gold has to be mixed with different metals to lower the softness of the metal so you can actually have these kind of beautiful pieces and wear them safely almost safely right because human error is possible at all times so yes which one I should start with first? I want to compare them to you together, not just on a hand. So this is the, let me tell you the exact name because I have it here, I have it here. This bracelet from Tiffany is the T1 narrow hinged bangle. 18 karat gold, blah, 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 we know that. And mine is in medium size, so yes. So one thing about this bracelet guys, it looks like this, it has this gorgeous tee, it has this beautiful detail, I don't know if you can see it, it has gorgeous detail going in the middle of this side of the bracelet until it like flattens. So anyway, mine is in size medium guys. Um, sizing, sizing, sizing in Cartier is different than in um, Tiffany. Tiffany is American brand, Cartier is European brand, so uh, Tiffany works with inches and uh, Cartier works with centimeters. The medium size in uh, Tiffany is 5.76 inch and it will fit up to 6.25 inch and it goes from one 146 to 159 millimeters which is almost 16 centimeters this is supposed to be medium but guys if i compare this <laughs> medium size which is supposed to be 16 centimeters to my 17 centimeter love bracelet they seem pretty same to me no so I personally am not 100% sure if this is really medium size or large size. So far, I would guess that they sold it as medium, but it's large. That's what I would think. Yes. You know, I don't know why I never actually measure it or uh, compare it when I was there for a little bit of time. So anyway, uh, one thing about the, card, about the Tiffany bracelet, the way it opens, you have this little clicker here on this side right here and you push it guys i don't know if you're going to see it it pushes in so anyway this part in the back pushes in and it opens like this anyway and you have like double click to close it one click it's still not closed second click it's closed and then you just open it when you push it in so it happened to me many times, guys, that the bracelet halfway open. Don't know how is that possible. Maybe even I, because I tend to move my bracelets all the time when they slide up here because I don't like my bracelets on the bone here. It bothers me. So the second they slide up there, I push them down the wrist. And even like without these two, when I was wearing just my Tiffany bracelet, it will happen. And I think... I just like push it against the skin and it like can open can that happen i mean i don't know but it opened sometimes halfway it never opened fully so that is like the negative part of this bracelet i would say as well the second part is that i think they sold it as a wrong size that's what i think it's a bummer i mean i really don't know guys stuff happens you know it was purchased in miami <laughs> Miami retail is very funny. Always double check when you shop in Miami, everything. So, 
Oh my goodness, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Oh good. <laughs> so, so when I put this on this bracelet on my wrist, I have this much left there here. So I usually close it to the second or to the third loop so it stays so it's not like too loose on my wrist uh, i was considering taking it to tiffany i have it removed one of them you know just because but i haven't done that yet so one bad part of this bracelet is guys uh, by the way i love this bracelet i love i love it i Minus the gold is a little bit more greenish than Cartier. It doesn't bother me really. It's just like I was confused when I noticed the first time. The one negative part of this bracelet is if you wear this bracelet all the time, it gets dirty very easy. And it gets dirty in the little hooks where the metal touches in between them. So I will recommend you to soak it in a hand soap and warm water and then just like brush it every month or twice a month <laughs> perhaps gently gently softer brush uh, so you don't scratch the gold because the gold can be scratched and be too aggressive um or every two months up to you of course it depends how you know like if you wear it to the gym if you wear it to the beach or what's the deal i had noticed even if i wear like black sweaters the little fuzzies get my jewelry dirty so mine is in the medium size, but asphalt medium width. They have one super teeny tiny, which is asphalt cute for me personally, a little too thin. And then they have one which is technically of the size of the necklace, somewhere down like here. And that one is gorgeous as well, but that one was too big again. So the medium was perfect for me. So I'm absolutely in love with my Tiffany bracelets and I still wear them, even I have Cartier. These two goodies, as I mentioned, the yellow gold is a little bit more rose tone. So, yes, um, I've been wearing them non-stop, guys, since I got them. As well, if I could compare, I want to compare one more thing. So, I am kind of not skilled. There we go. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I am really not skilled at opening this uh, Unclue bracelet. It... <laughs> It's difficult for me. It's quite difficult when I received it because <laughs> my husband got it to me as a surprise. I was really not expecting it as we say no gifts for Christmas and during dinner he just pulled up this box and I was just like, what is this? I was very happy. <laughs> I love the bracelet. So anyway, I just want to compare a little bit the shape of these two so you can see um, my uncle bracelet is size 16 guys so i just want to show you i would say they're both quite perfect ovals i think uh, the cartier is definitely more intensive in the oval but can you see the difference they have of course different shape and the, the tiffany goes like a little bit up right because it sits on top of each other there is difference there is definitely difference in the shape of the bracelet like a very obvious so so the cartier hugs perfectly your wrist i have my love bracelet in size 17 um and you should always get this one in size 16 i think it's because of the shape the way it sits it should be a little bit smaller and i like to wear it above the love bracelet i wore it for like a week below it was not sitting correctly so the 16 is definitely better on top of the bracelet guys i i love these bracelets by the way I, they're very comfortable i went into the gym i shower with them when i received this bracelet guys they don't tell you how difficult it is to open this bracelet <laughs> when i got it i was just like i cannot open it i cannot open it i cannot open it we have to go to cartier and they have to put it on my wrist and i will never take it off <laughs> because it was just so difficult right so you have to kind of it has like this part you have to push push this like out of the bracelet it's just so so difficult like 
once I put it on I really don't take it off and I kind of like it that way once no twice happened to me which is very weird though um, that the bracelet just like crossed somehow with the love bracelet and it opened itself I don't know how is the possible I don't know what I was doing but it happened when they were like clacking each other down here and I always put them up here so so I got this one in size 16 the unglue and the love in 17 and it fits perfectly I will not want any other size absolutely not I did try size 16 of the love bracelet because at first I thought it was too big but when I put it on and it was like kind of squeezing to the skin I was just like mm -mm, that doesn't look good no comfort comfort and in summer times which I will live again in. Yeah, you know, coming back to Miami, I, s I tend to hold water, so my hand will be a little bit more swollen. Yeah. So yeah, that is that is my experience. I think they are all very lovely. Uh, I have to say one thing: they scratch, they scratch a lot. I can tell you, I have so many. I got this bracelet for my birthday, which was October. Now is February. I have so many dents and so many scratches on it. But otherwise, guys, I think these three bracelets look great together. It's just on a daytime, this will be a little bit more of green undertone, as some of you mentioned me before, and these two are more rose. So, which means Cartier adds more copper to their metal than Tiffany does. I don't really know why, but I kind of like the Cartier yellow gold because I personally love rose gold on me. I think it's very elegant, it's very feminine. So I definitely like that's that's what they do compared to Tiffany. Tiffany could be a little bit yellow. At some point I was actually wanting this one in rose gold, but then I decided yellow gold may be a little bit better for such a massive piece. I don't know. I don't know. Like different things, different metals. Like I don't mind to mix yellow gold, rose gold, white gold, platinum, whatever. You, sh you should be able to wear whatever you want like the old school opinion that you have to wear only one is 2023 you can do whatever you want to do yes this is a little review of these three bracelets they all all of them get equally beat up tiffany cartier they all have scratches um all of them <laughs> none of them is free of scratches by the way i know there is the thinner versions of both of these Everybody should go for what they like. I like a little bit more thicker bracelets, so I wanted the classic size. I didn't want the thin version. I will go for the thin love bracelet <laughs> if it was set with diamonds, <laughs> like the full diamond set, you know, the thin one. So anyway, I highly recommend you to choose the piece you really love the most. I think if you get the thinner one from the Anklu, I will get that one even a little bit more fitted on your wrist because it's thin, so you don't want it to like, maybe like change shape. I don't know if that's possible, but that's what I will be thinking when I was, if I, if I will be purchasing the thinner one. Um, Tiffany has some of these softer bangles and they tend to misshape, they do. Like what more people were like sliding it sideways, all day long like people trying them on they did change the shape so that's why i didn't want it that one because i thought such an investment piece it will change the shape in like a couple of years perhaps or next year because i will be taking that one on and off because it's so easy and that won't just work for me so i will i will be very happy with the guys so yes this is my bracelet collection <laughs> at the moment which i'm adoring loving very very grateful to have them all and i think i'm kind of good with jewelry guys like i may would like some rings in the future but i'm happy with my necklaces i'm happy with my bracelets i love my rings i am actually not wearing my wedding band right now and my little diamond tiffany ring in the bathroom <laughs> that's fine because this video is about these three so anyway guys just to compare them for you i think they're gorgeous if you're deciding between cartier or tiffany it's just personal liking there is visually they're all beautiful craftsmanship is incredible so this is it guys i made this video a little bit longer than i wanted it to be but it's okay it's okay we like to talk here in this family right 
Anyway guys, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate all your lovely comments. I love to chit chat with you. And I am going right now to make my husband to watch some Netflix with me because we are watching a show which is very disturbing. But I love it. I love it. Thank God we have Netflix here guys because it's cold. <laughs> Even I tried to fake it in these colors. Minus two. And uh, I'm actually taking my uh, Tiffany bracelets off because I don't wear them non-stop. I can handle only two. <laughs> Three will be too much for me for 24 hours a day. Anyway guys, I see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye.